All parties in the matter of Jablon versus Palos. Step forward. Leonard and Stacy Jablon are suing their neighbor, Louis Palos, for vet bills and punitive damages, claiming his golden retriever attacked their bull terrier. Mr. and Mrs. Jablon, that's your dog. Yes. And it is your claim that the defendant's dogs attacked yours. Their dogs were off leash. Yes. It happened when I think you were walking the dogs, is that that's right? That's correct. On what date? October 2nd, 2016. Your defense is it wasn't your dogs? Yes, they were my dogs. Well, so if they were your dogs, then why didn't you take care of the vet bills? Uh, because, Your Honor, I don't believe that my dogs attacked his dog. Well, I thought you said it was my dogs. It's not relevant what you think. What's important is she says in her complaint that she saw dogs that were running loose and you subsequently turned around and saw the same two dogs which she described going back to your house. Is that what happened? That's correct. And if my memory is correct, you took a photograph of them? My husband did. You did? Yes, ma'am, I have Do the photos. Do you have a photograph? Mm -hmm. These are the two dogs, but it was the retriever mix that did the damage. This one was just with it. Okay, I, then I'm only interested in the retriever mix. Okay, that's that one. this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, would you show that picture to the defendant, Bird? Yes. That's your dog. That's my dog, Your Honor. But can I say something? Yes. Okay, my dog was in the yard, and you know I do not owe uh, the plaintiffs. Just a second. What time of the day? Did this happen? 6.30 in the evening. Where were you at 6.30 on the 2nd of October? I was in home, Your Honor. You were not home, so you don't know where your dog was. But, but my mother and my daughter were, were there. Fine, let's Your talk Honor. to daughter. Right. Your first name is? Cassandra. Cassandra, we're going to start with what we call in the trade a stipulated set of facts, which mm -hmm. are that Mr. and Mrs. Jablon's dog was being walked by its owner, yeah. and this little dog was attacked. It was attacked by a larger dog mm -hmm. and seriously injured. Mr. and Mrs. Jablon, I see, have the vet bills, and what they're asking for are the vet bills and punitive damages. Vet bills were $910, and you're suing for $2,000. Mr. Jablon took a picture of the dog that attacked their dog. Did you see the picture? No, I have not. Would you like to see the picture? Yes, please. I'm gonna show it to you. So let's be very careful, Cassandra because we're at a place where you don't want to make anything up. Do you mm -hmm. understand? Yeah. You were home? Yes, I was home. You were home on October 2nd? Yes. What were you doing at 6.30 in the evening? I was in my room listening to music. So you were unaware of anything that was going on outside? Yeah, I was unaware because I had my speaker on and I didn't really hear anything. And this is the dog that attacked your dog? That's correct. Do you work, Ms. Chablon? Yes, I do. What kind of work do, do you do? I'm licensed as a marriage family therapist. I work for an insurance company. And what do you do, Mr. Chablon? I'm semi-retired, but I was a teacher for 15 years, and currently I'm a docent on a museum ship. Do you own or rent your home? We own it. You have a car? Yes, ma'am. Do you have medical insurance? I have insurance for everything. For everything. And I'm not suggesting, I want you to listen to me very carefully, Mr. Palos and Cassandra. $900 is a lot of money, but it's not going to break them, which means I'm practically positive that you've already paid this vet bill. We have. Correct? And life goes on for them. They want the people who are responsible for the dog being out to be responsible and pay for the vet bill. That's what they want. They don't want the wrong person to be responsible. They want the right person to be responsible.